Hi everyone, it's Sue and welcome back to Discovering the Art of Living. Now if you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. So before we get started today, I have some really exciting news. I have actually surpassed 500 subscribers. Never thought this day would come, but I am so excited. And with everybody feeling a little down and stuck inside, I thought the best way to celebrate is to have an online party. Yay! So this Friday, March the 27th at 7 p.m., I will be streaming live a craft party and you are invited. I decided to go with a craft party and a simple project because I know with everyone self-isolating, we don't always have the opportunity to go out and buy supplies. So I was trying to come up with something that everybody has at home, a pencil, a paper, and a ruler. So if you wanna be part of the celebration, bring your pencil, paper, and ruler, seven o'clock Friday night, and any other paint or pastel or colored marker supplies that you want to bring, and we're going to be making a really cool drawing. Now, to make it more fun, I would like you guys to go to my Facebook page, which is also called Discovering the Art of Living, and I'll put a link to that below, and post on there your favorite appetizer recipe. So pretend like you're going to a party, what would you bring? Post your favorite recipe, and then when you're done with your drawing that we're gonna do, upload the picture so we can all see how everybody did. Sound like fun? Again, I'll talk about it a little bit more during the video. So last week, I participated in a March break art challenge with my son, and he gave me a really difficult challenge. He asked me to draw a character from his favorite video game, Hollow Knight, based on just three things. The fact that the character was a bug, an insect, there was more than one of them, and its name was The Watcher Knight. That's all I had to go on. Yikes. So here's what I came up with. Well, after critiquing it, he said I did a really good job based on the facts that I had, but it really didn't look anything like the real character. So if you wanna see what the real character looked like, he drew him on his channel. So if you click on the link above, that will take you to his video so you can see what the real character looked like. And I would really ask for your help and checking out this video and giving him some feedback. We would both really, really appreciate it. So speaking of challenges, today I am going to be participating in the underwater art challenge. And you may have seen this one floating around on YouTube for all you crafty people. Um, I am actually a little bit late in submitting this one, but I thought I would still want to give it a whirl. So I will put the link below to the lady who started this lovely challenge so that maybe you can participate as well. So if you're ready to see how I made out on the underwater art challenge, let's get started. So first of all, I would like to thank Dina Tolfson, hopefully I'm saying that right, for starting this underwater art challenge. And I will leave a link in the description box below to her channel so you can check out her beautiful work. So I've recently discovered gouache watercolor paints and I haven't really used them before, but I did a couple of paintings with them and I was quite intrigued. But I was also looking around and saw some other YouTubers doing some really cool techniques by putting really coarse salt on top of watercolor. So I thought I would kind of incorporate the two. So here I did my little sketch of my two fishies underwater. I will put a list of the materials I used in the description box below, but I did use a combination of regular watercolor, gouache paint, and some coarse sea salt. And just to remind you, we are still in the middle of our Easter egg hunt, so you should have found five eggs so far that have letters of the alphabet on them. Now, some people are confused and thinking that these eggs are hidden in the pictures. They're actually little animated eggs that bounce across the screen at various points in the video, and they have a letter of the alphabet on them. There are 12 all together, so you have to write down the letters as you find them. Don't tell me what they are. And after you get all 12, unscramble to find a mystery word. And on Monday, April 13th, you can post the mystery word that you unscrambled in order to win a watercolor painting as a prize from me. So don't forget to look for the Easter egg that'll bounce across the screen in this video as well. So 
So I decided to do the wet on wet technique with a variety of different blue watercolors. Put the salt on it to kind of create the bubbly underwater effect. Everything I had read and seen about gouache paint said that the salt probably wouldn't react with it the same way that the watercolor paint would, but I thought I would give it a try. So once I had the background done with the regular watercolor, had sprinkled the salt on it and was letting it dry, I decided to do a little experiment and just do one of the pieces of coral reef with the gouache painting and sprinkle the salt on it to see what would happen. While I was waiting for the salt to completely dry, I decided to go ahead and do my fishies and the rest of the coral reef with the gouache paint. So don't forget to join me this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for my live online craft night in order to celebrate my 500 subscribers. And don't forget to go to my Facebook page, Discovering the Art of Living, and post your favorite appetizer recipe that you're going to bring to my party. And once we've got our pictures done, if you wouldn't mind uploading your pictures to the Facebook page so everyone can see what you came up with, that would be great. So see you Friday at 7. Once the salt was completely dry, I brushed it off carefully and as you can see there's a really cool underwater effect with the regular watercolor. But the gouache, nothing. So I ended up having to put in all my details with paint on top. Oh well, live and learn. And here's what I came up with. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and in the comment section below let me know whether or not you'll be joining my craft party on Friday night. See you next time on Discovering the Art of Living.